Hey guys, and welcome to the video. We're going to be discussing the teaser for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, so grab your dive suit as we splash into this DC news. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on around here. So guys, we're going to dive into this Screen Rant article. Aquaman 2 teaser trailer, Black Manta, comes to Jason Momoa's DC hero in long-awaited footage. So yeah, it was only a couple of days ago, guys, since I uploaded a video to the channel asking where is the marketing for the new Aquaman movie. We're a little over three months out until the movie is released, December the 20th, and we still hadn't seen any kind of trailer. But it looks like now they've released a small teaser, and then it says in the teaser in four days' time will come the full trailer. So let's jump in, guys, and see what this article has to say. Black Manta sets his sights on Arthur Curry in new Aquaman The Lost Kingdom teaser, which arrives ahead of Thursday's main trailer debut. So let's read on and see what the article has to say. So, at long last, Warner Brothers unveils fresh footage for this December's Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The sequel to the 2018 billion dollar hit Aquaman will see the return of Jason Momoa as the eponymous DC hero and find him squaring off against another familiar face, Black Manta, played by the first movie's Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. Despite Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom debuting in theaters in just over three months, Warner Brothers has yet to really kick off its marketing campaign with the DC movie not even receiving a genuine trailer until now. Yeah, guys, is this kind of indicative of what's going on with this movie? Obviously, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of rumors and articles suggesting that the movie scored really, really bad with test audiences. They've had to reshoot the movie like three or four times. And the fact that they don't really want to put a massive marketing push behind the movie because they lack confidence in this movie making money. I mean, have a look at this graphic up above, guys. And um, you can see the last sort of six or seven DC movies have just been flops. They failed to make over 400 million at the box office. And, you know, if this Aquaman movie is going to follow that trend, they know that it's not going to make much money. So why are they going to bother putting too much into the marketing? But anyway, guys, with that said, let's have a look at the teaser below here. So ahead of the official trailer, which will arrive on Thursday, DC have released a 30 second Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom teaser trailer. So obviously, guys, I cannot play the trailer because it's copyrighted and I will get a copyright strike, which I don't want. So we're just going to scan through it. We're going to do a small breakdown and we're just going to have a look at some of the um, some of the trailer and just see what we can kind of decipher from what we can see. So in four days, so four days in, on Thursday, we're going to get the official full length trailer. Bear that in mind, guys. And I will do an update on the channel once we get the full length trailer, by the way, guys. So keep an eye out for that. So we've got uh, Jason Momoa here. Um, looks like he's uh, on a beach. Um, absolutely beautiful scenery here. Looks amazing. It looks like he's in somewhere like Thailand or something like that. But these amazing kind of rock formations here, they're just absolutely beautiful. I love this kind of scenery. Um, so it looks like he's just uh, came out of the ocean. He's on land. Um, let's keep going. Sea. Sea. And then it looks like we've got some sort of underwater alien creatures here. I don't know if this is the trench from the first movie obviously it was like those um kind of underwater monster type uh entities um it's very hard to see because it's quite quick and the motion blur is quite intense and it's quite hard to see you can see him swimming towards the screen it kind of looks like the trench i think it might be or kind of variation of the trench and then we've got yeah as you can see here like their eyes are glowing glowing green here which is pretty cool they look pretty menacing Remember at one point they were going to make a Trench spin-off movie? I'm really disappointed that they didn't go for that because I think that would have been such a fun movie. Um, yep, they're just flying at the screen. And then we've got uh, Aquaman here. He's blasting off. Looks like some sort of damage to a structure here. He's blasting off from the structure uh, in pursuit. Whether it's the same scene as what we just saw with the monsters, I'm not really sure. Uh, see the... And then we've got Orm here. Uh, Patrick Wilson playing Orm. And... Uh, really really cool we got like some sort of like octopus submarine thing and it's got these big huge metal tentacles and uh yeah it looks really really cool i love this i love this kind of uh design it looks it looks awesome it kind of gives me like steampunk vibes almost you know with the big mechanical structures and yeah it looks really really cool uh the lights switch on and then uh we got orm here he's jumping out of the way and he gets caught by the big tentacle like grabs it grabs him uh grabs him out of the air as you can see here sort of swooshing him out of the air i'm not sure who's in this uh machine here whether it's black manta in this machine or somebody else uh we're not really sure at this point so it says see the trailer then we've got black manta here 
and uh, he's basically saying, I'm coming for you, Aquaman. So he's fully uh, going after Aquaman at the moment. Then we've got uh, Aquaman running down this boardwalk towards his um, house where he grew up. Looking at his house here, his house has been decimated. It's on fire. It's been blown up to some degree. Obviously, the Black Manta's uh, taken revenge on him. And then we go forward. This shot here is just beautiful. I love this shot. This shot is super cool. Aquaman on the back of some sort of like mythical seahorse, just like jumping out of the water. It looks really, really beautiful. I love the whites and everything. But there's like an octopus here stuck to the side of his seahorse. Is that supposed to be there? Or I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, just a random octopus stuck to the side of the seahorse here. But it's a really, really cool shot. I love the blue here, how it contrasts against the gray. It looks, looks beautiful. Okay, and then we've got this underwater shot here. You can see that um, mechanical, like, octopus machine thing in the background here. And we've got someone in the foreground. I'm not sure if this is Nicole Kidman, which was... Um, Nicole Kidman played uh, Aquaman's mum in, uh, in the previous movie. And it looks like they're scaling up some sort of structure. There's... But yeah, guys, the, the CGI on her face here looks real bad. This doesn't look good at all. This looks like sort of like PS2, PS3 graphics on the face. Um, yeah, that doesn't look good. But obviously, if it's a quick sweeping shot, it's not something you would see unless you stopped and looked at it. Um, but yeah, the face doesn't look good there. But yeah, we've got that mechanical machine in the background. They're scaling up some sort of structure, as I say. Yeah, look, the face just doesn't look that good. There's another one here in the background as well. So there's obviously going to be multiple... Um, there's going to be quite a lot of these different mechanical machines here, which is, which is cool. And then switches to a shot of Aquaman underwater. And you've got all these different kind of plants and uh, underwater structures, like some jellyfish and stuff here. But I love the illuminescent kind of vibe that they give to this underwater world. It looks really, really cool. And I love the fact that he's wearing the classic Aquaman, um, you know, like uh, outfit as well. That looks really, really cool. And then he gets attacked by this giant, whatever the hell this monstrosity is. Dude, I hate I hate underwater stuff like this, man. It creeps me the hell out. Like this this kind of creature here, man. Look at this thing. It looks absolutely devastating. Whatever, whatever. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we've got this massive sort of underwater fight here. It looks really cool. It almost looks like a Star Wars esque space battle, but kind of underwater. Like you've got you know like imperial ships and stuff like this, but it's kind of underwater, and it looks it looks super super cool. I I love it. It looks great. Um, badass shot of Aquaman here. Obviously, it's like some sort of throne or something behind him. Looks really cool. And then we've got the destruction of this big, huge structure here. I'm not sure what the significance of this structure is. If anybody knows what this is, uh, let me know. I'm not really sure what it is. And then it switches to the last part of the teaser, which is Aquaman and Black Manta having a face-off, which is pretty cool. Um, going head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I, I really liked um, I really liked Black Manta in the first movie. I thought he was pretty damn cool. I thought it was going to be unrealistic to have his costume on screen in live action because it's kind of goofy, to be, to be honest. Like, his, his helmet looks kind of goofy. Um, but they actually did a great job of making him look cool in live action. And, like, yeah. And then, yeah, and then we've got this really cool, awesome shot here where they're, you know, um, got their weapons going up against each other. And that's a really cool final shot, actually. I'm looking forward to this full trailer, that's for sure. And then it finishes off with this shot here. And we see Aquaman and his magical trident. Looks awesome. And then we fade to the title screen. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Uh, only in December 20th, filmed for IMAX. Yeah, I might... As I said in the previous, um, previous video on Aquaman, I actually went and watched the first Aquaman on Christmas Day. Um, because I had nothing else to do. I was abroad in another country and I thought I'd go and watch it on Christmas Day. And I think I might actually go, if my, if my local theater is open on Christmas Day, I might actually go and watch this on Christmas Day as well. I think it's, yeah, yeah, I think I might do that. But yeah, guys, so December 20th, if you're interested, uh, make sure you save the date. Um, I'm looking forward to this. So, the action pack trailer quickly sets up the stakes for the new movie, which finds Black Manta definitely declaring, quote, I'm going to kick, uh, Finds, yeah, finds Black Manta definitely declaring, I'm going to kill Aquaman and destroy everything he holds dear. This is the follow, uh, This is followed by the shot of Momoa's Arthur Curry discovering the burning remains of his father's home. The Aquaman and Lost Kingdom trailer then fires off several rapid shots of the movie's colourful underwater action, including a glimpse of Arthur's fight against Black Manta. 
So what can we expect from Aquaman 2's official trailer? So due to the studio's refusal to give unions a fair deal and end the writers and actors strike, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's December release was in question recently. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, guys. I wasn't sure if they were going to postpone it until next year or, you know, keep the date as it is. I think having the date around the Christmas period is absolutely fantastic. You know, going through the Christmas period and New Year's period is it's the time of the year when a lot of people go to the theatres. There's a lot of money on the table there for DC to get. So changing the date or postponing it in, until next year, I think, would be a big mistake. Uh, Warner Brothers has already delayed the star-studded June Part 2 from November to March 2024. Uh, because of the strikes, actors would not be able to promote it. Yeah, so no actors and writers can participate in, you know, like press junkets or, or um, promotional tours or anything like that because of the strikes going on. However, with the release of the above uh, teaser, the studio has reaffirmed Aquaman 2's 2023 release date and begun its promotional campaign. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will, will be the last movie in the now defunct DCEU. Oh, guys, it's just like... It's coming to the end of an era. You think of how much we've been through as DC fans with the DCEU, you know, the, the whole Snyder Cut thing and, you know, just, just the up and down roller coaster ride of the whole DCEU over the last few years, man. And now it's after this movie, it's officially done. It's officially over. The DCEU is no more. And it's just like the end of an era, man. It just makes you look back and think about all of the, the news that's gone on with it, you know. As the connected franchise will be rebooted under the eyes of James Gunn and Peter Safran with 2025's Superman Legacy, it remains to be seen whether Aquaman has a role in the refurbished DC Universe, but Momoa has strongly hinted at positive talks with Gunn and Safran. It wouldn't be surprising though if the official trailer puts emphasis on Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom being the end of an era. With the fight with Black Manta taking on higher stakes as seen above, the narrative that could be Aquaman's last battle could help drum up interest for the movie. Yeah, so there was rumours going around that Aquaman was in, uh, not Aquaman, uh, Jason Momoa was in talks with James Gunn um, about staying in DC Universe, but there's a lot of rumours about him, instead of him playing Aquaman going forward, he's going to actually be playing the role of Lobo, which would be kind of exciting because we've not seen Lobo in the DCEU, or I don't think he's been in live action as far as I know. Um, correct me if I'm wrong with that, but yeah, it'd be really exciting to see Jason Momoa take on Lobo. I think that'd be awesome. The upcoming Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom trailer, will also like to reveal footage of additional returning stars who weren't glimpsed in the teaser. While the video features peaks of Patrick Wilson, Nicole Kidman, and the aforementioned author uh, Abdul Mateen, notable Aquaman 2 cast members like Dolph Lundgren and Amber Heard, Amber Heard have yet to been uh, shown in detail. Uh, Heard's mirror can be glimpsed from afar in the shot with the burning curry house. More of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom plot will also likely be a factor in the upcoming trailer. Do you, I'm not sure if going forward... Because of the whole controversy around Amber Heard, do you think that they will have her in the trailer, but she'll be kind of in the background and they're not going to focus on her? She's not going to be in the forefront because they don't, you know, they don't want to promote her too heavily, knowing that the controversy with her. So more than likely, she'll be in the background somewhere. But yeah, guys, so we've got a few days wait until the full trailer is released for Aquaman 2. I'm really, really excited because I loved the first movie. I thought the first movie was so much fun. It was one of the best DCEU movies in my opinion. One of the best DC movies in general, in my opinion. I thought they did a great job with it. But yeah, guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this teaser. Are you looking forward to seeing this movie? Do you have any plans to see it? Or have you kind of just fallen off of the whole DC bandwagon when it comes to their movies? Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon.